Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today I am going to share with you. How to add other attachments with the email notification. For this workshop, I will use back the Cloud Print app. If you would like to check out the full workshop on the Cloud Print app, you may click on the link that I shared in the right top corner. You may notice that there is a CSV button on the screen. I am preparing the import CSV function in a sheet. The CSV import function will not be covered in this video. Please come back to us in the next video. So for now, let's check out how to send other attachments works. I have added the action send staff ID in the detail view. Whenever user click on the send staff ID action, it will send the staff ID PDF that generated from the print to cloud printer action by email. Let's check out the data configurator. To demonstrate this, few column is added to the existing table. The send count column is number. The file column is file and the email column is email. This three column handling when user click the send staff ID button, it will increase the send count column value by one. And when the send count column changed, it will trigger the bot. The bot is handling to email the staff ID PDF to the staff. Let's proceed to the send staff ID action. Set the action name as send staff ID. Data source from master table. Set the do this is set the values of some columns in this row. And set the send count column with increase by one. When the value of send count column is changed, it will trigger our bot that we set in the automation. Let's check out the bot configuration. First, we have a send count value change event. Set the event type as data change. Table is master table. Then, set the condition. This condition checking the changes for send count column value. And it also checking the file column is not blank. Only these two conditions are true will trigger the bot. Lastly, set the data change type as updates only. Next, create an action which handling the email notification. Configure the action as shown. For the file column value, we have added an action in the cloud printing bot. Let's recap what this cloud printing bot does. Firstly, it will generate the printing content. Then it will print the generated PDF file via cloud printer. Lastly, it will update the file path to the file column. Configure the update file path action as shown. The workshop is completed. Don't forget to save your project. Our next video will sharing the import CSV function. So see you guys in next video. Stay healthy. Bye.